time, we are hearing from the MTA conductor who was stabbed on a subway platform in the Bronx. He recounts the moments when he was suddenly attacked. His primary concern, not his own safety, but the safety of the suspect and everyone else. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson. I really do hope he gets the help he needs, and, you know, I just hope he does better. Words of compassion from this MTA worker for this man seen here in this exclusive video. Sunday morning, police say Walter Rivera attacked the subway conductor. We caught up with the victim who didn't want to share his name as he left the hospital. This is the 33-year-old seconds after the vicious assault. This was Rivera's weapon of choice. It was just before 11 in the morning, the victim was sitting on this bench when out of nowhere, Rivera randomly walked up to the victim and slapped him in the face. <laughs> he jumps up, he turns to him. He's like, yo, what's going on, what's going on? They start tussling. So as he's tussling, the guy is stabbing him in his back. That's when the victim, who's been on the job for five years, took matters into his own hands, actually held the suspect down. My brain was thinking, get this guy on the ground so that way he'll be safe and I'll be safe. That way he can't hurt nobody else. That's the main thing. So he won't hurt nobody else and nobody else will get hurt. At that point, the conductor had no idea he was hurt. Witnesses told him he was bleeding. He says he's doing okay and despite all of this, seems to hold no animosity towards his attacker. Someone like him, he's possibly a victim of, you know, mental illness or whatever medication he was on. So, you know, this is something that we have to take care of and, you know, rectify. 